Hey there, and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I'm Dean Perrine at JSA, and we are coming to you live. That's right, we are coming to you live on location from the beautiful Grand Hyatt Dubai at Capacity Middle East. And I am here with Mr. Kevin Vachon. Kevin is the COO of MEF. Kevin, welcome to, uh, to JSA TV. And Great to be here and at the event. So let's talk about the event first. I know we're going to go. I'm just I'm already going to go off script. Let's talk about the event because I spoke to you this morning, um, which feels like it was 38 hours ago. Um, and at that time, you and I were already beginning to like engage and get into meetings and things like that. How's the event going for you? Uh, you know, this is one of my favorite industry events. All the capacity events are in ITW and so on. It's going excellent. It's, uh, it, it, you know, all the operators in the region are here from Africa. The global players are here. Yeah. And, um, you know, the topic that we're going to talk about today is, is, is very timely and resonating. So we're having a great event, as always. Outstanding. Let's get right on that topic, then. I understand that some big news is coming out of the, uh, the MEF Media Office, the MEF Media Room. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, well, let me just first tell you what MEF does. How about let's that? Let's do that you know? first, yeah. <laughs> don't don't like skip a, that, okay? Kevin, that sounds yeah. like a great idea. <laughs> I caught you. Uh, so we're an industry association with a couple hundred member companies comprised of uh, network uh, providers, the service providers that are here, cloud providers, technology providers. Um, and we're highly focused right now, which ties to the news, on enabling uh, intercarrier automation, particularly mm -hmm. in the wholesale space is a starting point. So, And many of the companies that are here today that you see on the show floor and so on are member companies. And so what we've done is we've developed a suite of standardized APIs to allow full service automation and, and across the wholesale partner basis. Mm -hmm. And it's gaining very, very significant traction. We now have over 115 service providers globally that are in one phase or another of adoption. Okay, mm -hmm. We've had a relationship with the GLF. They're over there. I'm pointing yep. over there mm -hmm. uh, for quite a number of years now, um, really uh, as an enabler to their vision. And today we had a joint press release where they have formally, we've signed an MOU to further collaborate but they um, they formally endorsed the adoption of MEF APIs. So you know that's a, that's a tremendous like, feather in our cap yeah, yeah. that it's such a senior executive community in there mm -hmm. in the wholesale space, and we're a very very important part of their you know their transformation efforts. You know in particular on the, as I said in the wholesale automation area. I love it. So MEF has been around a long time, um, but it's not it's not the MEF that it was. You know, uh, ten years ago, let alone you know twenty years ago. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about that evolution and um, that as an organization, it does appear that that MEF is kind of peeking around corners before the industry gets there. Uh, which That's an interesting you, way of putting it. Well, actually. it just makes you a very viable organization, and always you know you always hear about MEF yeah. from way back, from and, way back. Yeah, I mean, I think that's we we've we're very business oriented association. Mm -hmm. um, we, we focus very much on delivering work to the industry that's uh, service provider driven, that's very, um, you know, uh, practical in mm -hmm. nature. So it gets, we have very strong adoption rates of the work we do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but we have a long history of, of, of uh, we were the original enablers of the carrier ethernet business. Yep, I remember. Uh, and then we started to focus on enabling the automation of that around that area. We we moved up the stack to you know, delivering you know you know really quality standards for SD WAN more recently with SASE and Zero Trust so this security as it you know becomes uh, prominent and our vision has us being really a uh, an automation vehicle to really automate services across an entire ecosystem starting from the the enterprise service providers wholesale hyperscalers SaaS providers and so on and so forth we, you know there's a lot of different players in that ecosystem. Some of them are, you know, again, many of them are here, mid-mile players, platform, network as a service platform yeah, yeah, players. Yeah. So we're actually providing, you know, the really scalable standardized APIs and services to enable that this whole community to, to you know, to, to modernize in some ways, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I guess that, I mean, that's the, the perfect, the perfect uh, cyclical conversation, right? Because that's the way I was looking at MEF too. It's just kind of like always kind of like the modernization of the industry. You're always kind of involved there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, congratulations. Congratulations on the, on the great news um, from uh, just uh, this morning or yep, yesterday just morning. morning. Just yep. this morning. Just this morning. Yeah. So uh, are you going home tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Or? Yeah, it's a bit of a short one for me, but uh, 
We're, we're busy people right now. Yeah. There's lots going on. Kevin, thanks for joining us. I appreciate awesome. it. You guys are doing a great job. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. We'll see you soon.